Yo, it's Ikikata Style, KZ. I have 25 Genshin Impact tips for you today that you might have not known about if you're new or you might have missed if you're a veteran player. So leave me a comment below if you have any more tips to share with the community, as well as let me know how many tips in this video you actually knew about. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing for future content. And lastly, just remember, there's no right or wrong way to play the game. See ya! So there's a commission called Dangerous Hall, and this one you have to sabotage a slime balloon. So I was thinking, what if you just get to a higher point, glide to the top of it, stand on it, and it looks like it worked. You can stand on it, attack it, and it'll bring you to the destination. The Hydro Abyss Mage has a bubble attack that can be popped by using Amber's Charge Shot. The Scarlet Quartz and Dragon Spine can be used with a ranged character and destroy ice blocks from a distance. If you find yourself going up against a Pyro Abyss Mage and you're near a body of water, lure him to that water source and knock out his shield quicker. When you max out your reputation to level 8, you're still allowed to do the bounties and requests every week. So make sure you do those on reset to get some extra Mora. When you get a crappy plus 4 artifact with a bad roll, use that plus 4 to upgrade another artifact. So you can instantly bring it to plus 4 again. It's just a convenient way to keep plus 4 in artifacts over and over again until you can get one that has a good first roll. If you upgrade with a plus 8, it'll give you a plus 7. If you upgrade with a plus 12, you'll get a plus 10. If you upgrade with a plus 16, it'll give you a plus 14. And if you upgrade with a plus 20, it'll give you a plus 18. When exploring, you'll come across a grouping of three flowers. One of them will be a whopper flower that will shoot out of the ground, defeat it to collect more resources. Dashing at a ledge will give you an extra boost forward, and it can help you cover a greater distance. Another way to navigate the menu if you're playing on PC is to use the tab hotkey. I personally feel like it can be a bit quicker to use if I'm trying to get into the battle pass or any of the other menu options. I guess this can be a two for one. It can be a bonus one. This is a bonus one. So you can use Kaching's E for elemental skill and aim it at the sky to get a higher distance with your glider. And as we glide over to this mountain top over here, we can collect an abundance of eggs. Mountain eggs. Alright, so if you're looking to collect some more leeway specialties for the battle pass or for your character ascensions, the leeway pharmacy actually has some that you can purchase. And you can come over here to Chef Mao and he sells more of those chilies. While we're here, we can also loot his inventory of recipes. The restaurants in Mondstadt and Leiwei, please go to them because they have recipes that you can purchase. Thanks for watching the video so far. We actually have a special guest in the house that's going to show us the next tip. So give a warm welcome to the homie Zells. Take it away. <laughs> What's up, my fellas? It's your boy Zells, and I just want to thank Ikikata Style for allowing me the honors of being in this video. Now, to quickly introduce myself, I am Zells underscore uwu. I create anime guitar covers, uh, and I also play Genshin Impact with my boy here. And he, you know, asked me if. I wanted to be in the video and give you guys a tip, and here we are. So the tip I'll be giving you guys today is that you can purchase artifact fodders. That's right. There are three merchants in total so far that you can purchase artifacts from. One in Mondstadt, that's this pretty lady right here. I'll show you the location right there. And when we take a look at her stock, we can see she has two star artifacts that we can use to level up our artifacts. All right, 
As for our second merchant, he is right here. He is Zhang Shun. He is right in front of Liwei Harbor. His shop, we can buy out his artifacts. And there's also one other person. And here is where we usually find a third merchant. But she isn't here because she's only open during the night. So why don't we round up our clock to midnight and voila, our third merchant for artifacts is here. So you could buy it out from her and you'll be good to go for the week. On the very next Monday, their shops refresh and you can purchase them again. Thank you Zells for coming on with that hot tip. And if any of you like what you see, what you hear, his socials will be down below in the description. All right, let's move on to the next tip. <laughs> Alrighty, so this next tip, I'm gonna show you the two foods I craft the most that I think are the easiest to craft if you wanna heal yourself. So I craft the sweet madami, and I also craft the matsutake meat rolls. And these ingredients that you can get a ton of them, a ton of these ingredients, in the expeditions that you do daily so you can just keep farming that every day get a ton and just make as much healing food as possible a lot of veterans use this next tip it's called animation canceling and you can do an animation cancel at a, with a jump which i'm doing here with xiao you can do animation canceling with a character swap a character switch and then if you want to stay on the same character, you can just animation cancel by using the dash. If you use your elemental burst at the right moment, you can dodge incoming enemy attacks. In the community, the terminology for this is iframes, invincibility frames. Amber is top tier. She can wipe out those three electro crystals super quick just by charge shots because she doesn't have to wait for an E to cool down or anything. You can just charge her shots up, take out the boss, and collect your reward. This is a convenient tip if you want to farm one specific boss. Just after you defeat it, watch its cooldown in the adventure book, then exit the game and log back in. This method will keep you in the area so you don't have to do unnecessary teleports to different waypoints. You'll already be right there when you log back in. If you don't want to deal with those gotta go fast Geo Vicia patchlings, use Kaya to form an ice bridge and lure them out to the water. If they're standing on it when the ice bridge is gone, they'll drown. The weekly wolf is Animo and Cryo, so don't be using your Xiao in there unless you're going physical. Don't forget, if you have Xiao, he doesn't take any plunge damage. You can dodge the water bombs if you plunge into the water. When the Valen slams his claws on the platform, you can stand under them and not take any damage. Big thanks to Sleepy Max for demonstrating this one, where you can use Diona's E as homing missiles to shoot down the cranes. Welcome back, I got one more tip for you, and that is to download the mobile app. And that's because the app has crossplay, so you can play on PC and mobile. And if you're away from your PC, you can pop on to the mobile app, condense a few resins if your resin is full, so it can start recharging again as well as recall expeditions. Very convenient. Super convenient. So with that, that's the end of the video. That's all the tips I have for you today. And thank you for watching. And if you got this far into the video, comment below, I love pink. <laughs> all right, have a good night. See you in the next video.